Well, welcome to the Real Life Kitchen. Arlene is going to teach us another great recipe today. Well, I'm so glad you're here today. <laughs> Me too. It's always good to be, and we're so glad that you joined us. And today, you know what? I, I, I called a, a lady that has watched at home for a lot of, of years, and she had sent me something I called to thank her. And she said, Arlene, let me give you this recipe. She said, you're not going to believe it. And I, a lot of people tell me that, and most of the time I don't believe it. And this one, she said, it only has three or four ingredients. Now, that's what we like to hear, right? I sure do. Okay, take a pound of chuck. Okay. That's our pound. Thank you to Joe Liga's Beef Farm Hello, up there. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. You guys are such a blessing to us. Thank you. One pound of ground chuck, one package, one package of any kind of stovetop. Dump it in there. All right. Okay. Now, you know what's in there? You have all your flavorings. You have your onion flavoring. You have celery, parsley, and no salt, no pepper, no egg, and one cup of water. All right. You just pour it in there. The, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Just I'm really liking this recipe. Now, you're going to mix that up. Okay. And you know what you're going to have? the best tasting meat cakes that are just like a meatloaf. Three ingredients. I'm telling you, you can have dinner on the table in 30 minutes, literally, because these only bake at 350. I know what I'm having you squish, tonight. <laughs> you have squish fast, because okay. so we, we have to divide that. What you're gonna do is divide it into 12 portions. I've already sprayed this with some Pam. And you know how when you get meatloaf, you like that little crunchy part around the edge that cooks hard? This, because we're making individual ones, you get that little crunchy part around the edge on all of them. And then the next day, this makes 12. Wow. The next day you have lunch, because you're going to make meatloaf sandwiches. All right. What's so hard about Sound this? Sounds even better. I know. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got there. I think How's you're probably doing? there. All right, now, here's the key. You say, well, how am all I right. going to make sure I have 12 equal portions? Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting way. Let me show you how you do. You push this all together so you kind of have it uniform. Mm -hmm. Now, this is why it was important to learn your fractions when you were in school. Because now we need 12 portions. We're going to cut one portion in half. Right, now, each of these portions need, need to be six. very good. Awesome. I know you passed. <laughs> so you break it again in, in half. Now you mm -hmm. take this portion and you make three out of this portion. And then they're even. Okay. okay, let's start making them real quick. All, right. All you're going to do is roll them in a ball, and you're going to take a third of each portion, and as you break them apart, just lay them in there until you roll it into a ball, and then you push down lightly on the top. Not real hard, but just lightly. Get this out of here so everybody can see what we're doing. Uh, I, you know, I said, Betty, does this really work? She says, Arlene, I live by myself. I make them, and of course you can't eat 12 at a time, so I freeze them. And she said, I pulled them out. A couple days, I'll have two more for dinner. You can put oh, a, a you can have idea. a baked potato, do a vegetable, mm -hmm. and in no time you have dinner. That's the kind of stuff that we all like to do. That's right. And that works well. Again, you want to just pull it apart to make sure you have enough to make your three. Preheat your oven at 350. It's really important. Really important. And you know when you or making things like this for your family. Sometimes it's an extra effort, but it pays off in the long run. Because you know, you're making memories every day with your kids, and you want them to be good memories. Boy, remember when mom used to make those meat cakes, they'll be saying. There remember when go. mom used to do this, mom used to do that. And that's what you want, those kind of memories, not, oh, we went through McDonald's again, and we that's had that right. burger or whatever. You don't want to do that. Now, you don't have to do this, and Betty didn't say, but I take my barbecue sauce, push it down a little bit to make it flat, and I just give it a little squirt because this adds extra flavor. We all love yeah. this barbecue sauce. Oh, just a little bit on top, kind of make a glaze. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. And again, as I said, a baked potato with this, nice big salad. Oh my goodness, we're talking delicious. And in 30 oh, minutes. Yeah. Look at that. Put those babies in the oven. Look Amazing. what we just made. Do you know if you made a regular meatloaf, you'd still be chopping onion? We already That's made right. it. Go ahead. You want to pop go. that in the top sure oven? Will. When we come back, we're going to show you the ways you can use this to serve to your family. But I want to remind you that the recipe is always at CTVN, and you can actually go there, watch the segment again. You can download the recipe, and you can have it in your files. So when you go to make it, you'll be sure you have it. It's always a pleasure when you come by 
And it just wouldn't be the same without you, but don't you go away because we're going to come back and we'll have a tasting. That's right. Ooh, and maybe excitement. we get Don to taste it. He'll like really enjoy it. Yeah, they, these guys like meat. Yeah, they here. do. They do. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in just a minute. But stay tuned now. Right here, ready to eat. That's what we're here to do. Well, I told you. Now, look, this is what they, we just took these out of the oven. These are hot. All you do is take your little knife, go around the edge, you pierce it, and there's your little meat cake. Is that awesome? Delicious. That's what they look like. These are cool. We made a batch ahead of time. And we put them on a sandwich. Now, you can either taste these, Dawn, you yep, and yep. Amanda, or you, I cut one in half. We just put it on a bun, plain little sandwich bun, and put a pickle on top because that kind of cuts through the barbecue on there. Uh -huh. Which would you like to taste? Help yourself. There's first. Well, well, I better there's go first. with a, a bite of a yeah, regular one. There's a, there's a fork and a knife over there. Okay. Help yourself. Well, we, we watched you make them, so we know well, exactly what's in them. them huh? Well, I, absolutely. Taste. <laughs> I've never been known to turn down tastes. I know, because you're food. good at that. I'm yeah, a good you're taster. A pro. You're a pro. <laughs> I'm a pro. You're a pro, Don. I'm an I expert want, food I've taster. I've been wanting to tell you about Thank that. Thank you very much. Yeah. And see, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, Pastor's teaching, too. Yeah. I yeah. can refer oh, yeah. back mm -hmm. to it. The intimacy with God. No, we can, you can't beat it. And I love his accent. Yeah, it just it does something to you. Yeah, it, it makes you pay attention. Draws you in. Know, yeah, it what does. It is, but the, the intimacy with God, walking in in the Spirit. Absolutely. What a tremendous teaching. Very good. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. How easy and how delicious that is. Mm. And you put like a baked potato, a tossed salad with that, coleslaw. Mm -hmm. You have supper. How long did it take? You know, we just made these. Yeah, and there was fantastic. only three ingredients. Three ingredients and a little bit of barbecue sauce. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Thank you for cooking. Hey, thank mm -hmm. you for tasting. So and thank good. you for joining us because it just wouldn't be the same without our folks. No, we're That's so glad right. you're Never. Here. I wish I could send this through the television, too. Smell of vision would be nice, huh? Smell of vision. <laughs> sure about that smell of vision business. But in a moment, we're going to be praying for you and all the prayer requests that have been sent in. You know, we've got Get me people who have connected yes. with prayer. And Arlene is a prayer warrior. Yes. So if you want somebody to pray for you, this is the person to pray. We're going to pray for you. But first, let's, yes. let's see what's coming up tomorrow on Real, Real Life. Life. Yeah.